For today's little experiment, uh, I'm gonna find out if you can cut standard latex with a standard cheap Chinese laser cutter. When I tried to find information on the subject, uh, nothing really came up other than that latex is safe to cut on a laser cutter. So what I found out was that uh, yes, it's totally possible. Uh, actually, it works really well uh, on very low power settings. You can cut through a uh, 0.3 millimeter uh, like butter basically. There is a few uh, things though. When you do cut it, it creates this kind of a black ooze that uh, just stays there, it dr doesn't dry up and it's kind of hard to clean it up. At least I tried the 93% household spirit and that helped a bit, but uh, it's not ideal. Uh, you don't really notice it on black latex, but you definitely do on uh, colored ones. Perhaps acetone will work. I don't know. Uh, but basically what I found was that uh, the most reliable solution is to uh, sandwich the latex between two layers of painter's tape. That way all the ooze will uh, be on the tape and you don't really have to clean it up afterwards. Engraving works as well if you, as long as you don't go too deep, otherwise you'll get like this. Uh, when you stretch it out you do see there's material in between. I also tried to fine tune the settings a bit. Uh, some settings produce more of that black ooze. Uh, some settings a bit less so I think it's more about kind of trying and uh, seeing the exact material you have and finding the good settings. For latex I used uh, 0.3 millimeter uh, stuff. So the laser I'm using is a cheap Chinese K40 cutter. Uh, it uh, runs for about 300 euros or uh, 300 dollars. Uh, all I've added to it is basically uh, air assist uh, but uh, to be honest like on loose latex that made it worse since it uh, kind of moved the latex around so not ideal but if you use the, the duct tape method then yeah it's nice to have but totally not required so a standard cutter will do just fine for this. I ran the laser with uh, K40 Whisper software uh, in there you don't really have many options uh, for settings so I think the ideal settings I found for myself were around 5 milliamps with 30 millimeters per second speed uh, I used this both for cutting it just normally and also uh, for painter's tape sandwich method. Just that with the tape method I had to run it uh, two passes to cut completely through. Unfortunately the work area of this thing is not that big. So if you do pieces you would still have to kind of take one small piece and uh, put it there and cut them one by one. I think you can also totally use it on finished garments. If you put it in, kind of wrinkle it around and then the cutting area, if you measured out exactly the place you need it to be, you can just make it flat and just cut it there. The only issue though is that you have to think what you're designing. Basically, if it's some kind of really stretchy area and it's a delicate design, it's just gonna end up like that. And it's not good. Uh, so yeah. I think it works perfect for uh, very flat areas. For example, if you have like a shirt or something, then this chest area in here should be kind of flat and not stretchy, so that will work perfectly. And some other areas of the body where it's, the stretch isn't too big. And I guess also if you don't uh, make the garments too, too tight, and if it's loose enough, then no problem. So unfortunately I don't have uh, a finished product to show, since this was just me finding out if it's even doable. But since it is, uh, I'll try to make a video of making an actual garment. I think most likely some uh, lingerie or something, yeah. Thank you for watching, hope you got something out of it. And yeah, I'm off to do some designs to actually put it into use and do some proper garments with it.